Hi everyone, this is Chelsea Robinson from Rodeo Realty bringing you another segment of Getting Real in the SFV. So you've planned a big vacation for months and all of a sudden, bam, the one has come onto the market. What are you going to do? Well, fear not, you don't have to lose your dream home just because you'll be traveling. This week, let's discuss buying a home while on vacation. Before we dive in too deep, I wanna give you this disclosure. This topic is geared towards US-based residents because there are different requirements for international buyers. Anyone can buy property in the US, but lending requirements might vary depending on origination, country, and so forth. But let's say you're a local and you found the home and your closing will coincide with your pre-planned vacation. What can be done? Last year I had several buyers who dealt with this scenario in various ways, so it comes up often enough that it's worth a discussion. A big concern at the end of the escrow will be the signing of your loan documents. These are typically time sensitive and are only released at certain times of the transaction, as well as required notarization. If you happen to be traveling domestically, this one is a pretty simple fix. Escrow will likely just require that your documents be notarized wherever you are locally and then sent back via overnight mail back to them. Be sure to either work out with your lender or your seller a time frame to accommodate the extra turnaround time for the receipt at your location and overnighting them back. If you're traveling internationally, protocol might be a little bit different. Last year I had buyers handle this in two different ways. One was able to work with their lenders to have their lending documents signed before they left, which was a few days before closing. Everything went on as normal and there were no real changes to the escrow process, with the exception that they were not here for their final walk and I accepted their keys on their behalf and handed them over once they returned home. The other had a spouse who needed to sign all documents and was overseas for several months. In this case, an appointment was made with the U.S. consulate, documents were overnighted to her to sign, and overnighted back as if she had still been here in the USA. Now, to give a second warning, every escrow is different. Every country's consulate is different on whether or not they have an available notary to sign and so forth. So be sure to check on your own options early on and make sure any necessary adjustments are made in advance. If you have any questions on this or buying and selling a home in the San Fernando Valley, or if you want more information, please feel free to reach out. My contact information is below and my website, chelsearobinsonrealestate.com, is updated in real time with all the listings hitting the San Fernando Valley and other parts of Los Angeles. Stay tuned for another episode of Getting Real in the SFE, a video series full of tips, tricks, and trends for life in the San Fernando Valley.